Okay, so right here I have a different images and it was a very fun photo shoot that we're going to use like retro look. We can look through all the photos. I think for this one we'll just go use it straightforward look. We'll work with our elements in the horizon about the same place right there will match. And uh, the other version we're going to do close-ups and close up we can actually go and can find some more with the facial expression be closer kind of like maybe even closer face so we can use it more scary type I think that will will work a little bit better maybe closer somewhere in there okay so let's go right now we'll select one image just open and it should be open in camera raw so here's our adjustments we'll go first to remove chromatic abbreviation um profile correction i'm not sure if i will like it i'll just check nope we'll just leave it like this we'll take sharpening restore a little bit of our sharpening and the facial okay next let's go inside the basic we'll go our highlights we'll take highlights down you can see just help us with some the lightings and shadows just maybe bring a little bit up okay a luminosity on the face maybe just bring yeah let's bring just slightly up here and overall our blue color I'm not sure I think maybe darker when I like it like this okay when we're done we'll go ahead and click open image this is will be our processing so we'll go to create a new layer let's take pen tool and with this one should be very easy with pen tool I'm just going to around and create so um mask with pen tool here's interesting things if you want to create curve just go a little bit out like right here click and start dragging you see those handles and as long as the handle will follow the curve you see I'm um, handling with mouse and you can notice how the other ones start bending and follow the curve. So it's actually very nice. The easiest way to do so we'll and we'll drag till the adjustment. And you can see it will be very good. So usually I'm going just a little bit in, like maybe one pixel inside. We'll lose some anti asking and we'll go restore that again right here you can see we're going just around create mask some people may use a pen and it's fine if you feel fami familiar and comfortable with this i mean a pen with a magic wand for me personally i prefer the sharper edge because i always can add blur but this way it's got a very nice very clean edge for me that i'm going to work with so it's just personal preferences that is work for me so at this point i'm going to um pause this tutorial till i'm done with all of this pen tool and because this is will be just single mask so it won't be combined raster and vector so it will be just a vector mask and i'm going to um resume this tutorial soon when i'm done with all the masking okay so right here kind of run around um couple places I notice maybe I want to remove just a little bit right here small dots it does not look good okay there you go just teeny tiny holes okay right here let's go down think right there there's some of this I think it's more as a reflection you know let's cut them off anyway like right there oops connect it There you go. Now it's connected. Okay. Okay. So right there. 
and also we have I think right here one yeah so let's go to add there you go okay when we're done right click and select create vector mask so if we disable background here is our image let's go next work a little bit on retouching so first we'll create layer and it will be our touch up layer okay we'll go to link it you can hold alt or options and move mouse and you see this kind of arrow appear with a disconnect or if you need connect parenting you just click so now the kind of lock mask layer below will be applied to the layer above um, now let's go closer to the face and i'm just going to look on all these details so like not that much to touch up oops right here we have a couple of things so just a couple right here maybe small small touch-ups okay so right here if you have a problem with some names like for example in this area we can always just select and you know try to replace it so we can even go with textures from that area let's go just apply it as example so we can go like you know around there apply a little bit more let's go select darker here again see so we can create quite a bit similar look in this case okay so like right there so it's still not yet texture not yet there we'll need to apply a little bit more on the texture can grow uh, grab also from other side if you need it just a little bit right here restore this line here let's restore a little bit line above actually no this is does not look right there you go this look a little bit better Okay, there you go. Okay, let it start. Just overall, you can see we're kind of restoring now this remove. But again, this is if you need it. Of course, if you want just a name, it's much easier. Just get one name and kind of apply it. Let's go. right there we can move so overall this is how we remove names same actually right here nerve gun so it's a painted nerve gun we can just go and uh, do this. so we'll go click and just fix it to remove some of this names so sometimes you kind of want to remove it if you don't want it and same we have the judge name so we can actually just go and create like this preview here just remove kind of name here okay um we have a little bit touch up i think some scratches remove scratches here that is look okay. okay what do we have right there we have it also some name so we're gonna click and just create additional almost decoration that look like okay we 
got small from the nail. Let's fix this slightly. Okay, that one will be not that hard to do. Uh, same. Touch up some of those areas. Let's fix this one a little bit. Okay, so you can see we kind of touch up some elements. You can always go back, but I think this will work fine. So next after touch up, let's add a little bit dodge and burn to this. So we'll create new layer. It will be our valid color. Go to fill up 50% gray. Okay, again, same We all chain link them kind of to our main image below and we'll switch to soft light. Of course, with now we need our brush. We want to be black and white. Let's be sure it's soft brush. It's what we wanted. Let's go now zoom in. And we can start. Actually, it says 10% opacity. We can start just a little bit painting. Add a little bit more depth. Because before, if you remember when we shot, we kind of create this little bit look flatten. Because this way, if I want it, I can easy to add some elements. For example, make your lips a little bit buffier. Okay. Go on the nose right here. Okay, let's go there. Okay, we'll go add on our eyes just a little bit. Again, you can see before and after we just add a little bit more interesting dimension to her face. Same on her hands. So we're going to black, increasing, and let's just darken. Again, this is shadows and highlights. This is just to work on her figure overall. It's doing nothing absolutely too um, environmental. And actually, when we go to put an environment, we're going to switch. We're going to change some, add more stuff. So this is just a, there you go. Just so kind of feel this way. Now let's go press Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E on the Mac. This is will take all images, compress and create new. So I want to do this to work a little bit on. Um, we'll go filter. On the noise, dust and scratch, so smoothing, kind of almost like painting to do effect. OK, now we'll hold down Alt or Option key and click on a mask. They will create black mask for us. And now we can zoom in, switch white 10%, and we can paint in some of that painting effect that we created. So this way we can remove some of this noise. It will work very well. As well as will create poster like like painting look to us. Um, you can also to do this on all other elements. If you can see, you just remove a little bit of the shininess. So be careful how much you're using on this. But same like right here, we can use it on the highlights. Just make them a little bit less strong on highlights. Uh, uniform, if we do right there, it's we can lose some texture. So I don't necessarily uh, want to use this. Mostly it will work for the skin only. And maybe some highlights. So I'm just smoothing out right here. Hands kind of so looks nice. Good. OK, let's look up right there. We can see how face look nice and smooth. OK, let's go same. We'll create Control Shift Alt E or Command Option Alt E on a Mac. We'll create new layer. Okay, so these ones, let's switch orange. This one will be actually at least some to do with the hair I want to paint. So let's go to now filter, stylize, oil paint. So in oil paint, we'll just set a 10. Cleanliness, maybe five. We can actually pop up even more. A little bit scale zero one and Bristol details. Okay, let's just bring a little bit, maybe to middle. Click OK. You can see this is mostly I look for the hair. Same things, alter option and mask. And now again, we'll 
paint a little bit in the hair. So right here, I want to just make hair is look like almost painted on. It also will clean up the hair as well. And it's creating this somewhat paint effect. Okay. So let's go zoom in. Okay, so let's go ahead next. I want to add a little bit more depth to the textures. For this one, we're again creating all layer, brand new. So we can go click E, create new one. Um, well, let's switch this to yellow color. And the same, we'll link it. So you can see they're all linking to our main one. Um, next, we go to filter. Actually, not go, sorry, image adjustment, go to black and white. And on black and white, mostly, let's zoom out. I will use a soft light, which is bill 50% uh, and darker will make more darker or lighter. So it's give it like contrast model almost for us on the levels. So in this case, I can decide here which one I want brighter or darker. So for example, her face, I can take darker or can bring up. So I'll bring a little bit brighter on the face, a little bit on the yellowish and blue. We actually take a little bit more down on two of them. Maybe just too much, like that right here. Okay, now we want to flatten. If we switch now, it will be very hard. So let's check. If we're going soft light, you can see how strong it is. So I don't necessarily want this, I want flatten. So we'll go image adjustments, um, shadow highlights. Be sure if you're on the mode when you need to click show more, so we'll have access to everything. And let's set about 10 pixels, 10 pixels for radius for both of them. Amount of the shadows and highlights take to 100%. And by the tone, we can compress. So we can actually take it darker and just increase slightly up on this. Click OK. Next step, what actually I want to do for this, I want to apply sharpen on sharp mask. So right here, we'll actually take and take two about one pixel and we'll take sharpness and pop maybe about 104. Let's click OK and convert this to soft light. So we have before and after. You just add more clearness, kind of sharpness. If it's too much, let's take it down maybe to about 20. OK, I think overall the model is ready. We'll select all of them, um, group together. Command Control G. Let's call it model. We'll switch this to maybe like red color. And important, we want to convert to smart object. So now it's ready. At this point, because if I move this model as a smart object, I don't worry about scaling up and down. So it's kind of log for me to use it. And it's good time to save this work. And let's next turtle will continue actually start already putting in our scenery.